Swift, uh, UVS, and Chainlink recently showed that uh, you can use ISO 20022 messages to trigger on-chain fund uh, subscriptions and redemption. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, John, what did that collaboration reveal about extending system messaging standards into tokenized asset workflows? And particularly not just the standards, the technical standards, actually existing processes within banks. Is it actually possible to interact meaningfully uh, with, you know, on-chain business logic without needing to replace all the back office, middle office, <laughs> risk management? Yeah, it's a great example. You have a major bank, major wealth manager, UBS, issues a money market phone on-chain, then you need a whole ecosystem would work that. You, treat, you need transfer agents, you need those that are going to subscribe to the fund, you need those that are going to redeem from the fund, you need the investment manager, you need the bank itself, and then you need everybody else that is a pension fund, neutral funds. They need to trust the system, right? If you're going to put money on these new tokenized money market funds. So I, I would say we, we work on these projects uh, as part of Project Guardian on the phase one, then we moved on the, uh, on the, um, the second part of the, or the second phase of this project that we announced at Cybos. I think it shows that you can trigger on-chain events, in this case, subscribing or redeeming from a fund using a good old Swift ISO 20022 message, right? Because the reality is that even if you are a technologist and even if you think that every single bank in the world will start, start interacting with chains using a node or, an, or even an API, you, you're up for a big disappointment, right? Most bank systems are, they run on COBOL or even something that I don't even know what it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, even the most sophisticated ones, either for regulatory reasons or for legacy reasons, they understand Swift in, Swift out. Yeah. So you can have a number of functionalities on chain that are the best, including, a, a, uh, you know, a a issuance of a money market fund that maybe gives you more yield. Maybe it's better too because it, overnight you can go and invest that money into DeFi application, whatever it is. The interaction from the banks, legacy systems and back office into these chains will need to happen with technology and standards that already exist. So you have messaging standards, you have CRE or other technologies of chain link on how to translate these messages or interact with these chains. It's, it's again, it's the perfect marriage of technology with legacy systems into, into a non-chain functionality.